What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing this fine early Wednesday morning? Hey, real quick, I'm going to do a quick video on how to, um, a different way to lace the middle slash top part of your webbing right through here. As you notice um, on your, sorry, I've got lace going through here. As you notice on your catcher's mitts now, you'll have a lace going up and vertical through both sides right here. So um, that is where this comes into play. So the reason being for that is because used to, they used to come through uh, depending on where the webbing, what, where the other side was coming through here, go behind these and up through here. I would usually take it, pull it through and then pull it back through that way. But now they have it to where if you look at it inside Rollins glove, Wilson glove, they have a vertical line going up through there. And I'm about to show you how to relace that in a different way. I got this gorgeous Rollins catcher's mitt that I picked up. It's a pro grade CM33 pattern. It's beautiful glove. Uh, forgive me, my dog had puppies and uh, that's what you're hearing all that squeaking in the background. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Shouldn't take too long. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go through here and right out through there. You wanna make sure you leave access to where you can tie a good knot, a good, nice knot. I usually leave about three to four inches like that. Now, I got my pictures to guide me along. You wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you hit the right hole here. So it was one, two, three, go through this hole and out this hole right here. Okay, so it was one, two, three, four from the bottom. From here, it was one, two, three, right there. So get that red lace out of the way, pull this through right there. I'll get it in a shot here just for you in just a second. There we go. I'll use my pliers to turn that just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's an amazing experience when your dog has puppies. And it wasn't planned either, so. <laughs> All right, pull that through. Get it good and snug. Get it snug. As tight as you can look, don't pull it too tight because you'll pull this out. Sorry, pull it from this side right here. I'm sure, I still got some from my knots. I do. There we go. Now, from here, we're going up. Gonna give that lace a good twist and go up, up to the next hole. Okay, up to the next hole and out this top hole right here right there this is the way the picture showed it and out that hole right there uh i think 44 pro goes through the binding so this is this is just to show you guys the the way that they're doing them now uh what it does it gives it more strength it gives it more strength to uh hold that lace intact and that way it doesn't it doesn't blow out as easy so one, two, three, four from the bottom. It'll just look just like that. Now we're going through the top of the web. Not the very top of the web, but we're going through. This right here, going through the top, right through there. Right through there. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull that through with some pliers. Hopefully I'll get it through there. There we go. Get this fresh leather, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it does not, does not give way. Just pull that nice and tight. There we go. There we go, looking good. See there? Pull it through nice and tight, just like that, okay? 
Now, my other picture. Um, on to the other side. It's going to come out. Let's see here. Fifth hole. Leave that right. I just want to make sure I'm getting these holes right. I always, always check to make sure. Always check. This one right here. Sorry about the other one in the way there. Nope. Right above this. Okay, we are coming. Give me just a second, folks. I want to make sure I get these holes right because I they lace these things so different now. <clears throat> It's going through this hole. Okay, going through this one. And out. <laughs> okay, we're going through this hole. Like I said, you need to check your your holes, what hole it goes in, and stuff like that. So, yeah, this has got a, a space uh, goes through here and comes out through here. So I'm in the right hole, coming out that hole right there I don't think it really matters exactly what holes they go in but I do it the way the factory does it I'm just picky like that I guess okay there we go pull it tight there we are or perfect pull this hole down which is what the picture showed Going straight down to the next hole, okay, and out this hole right here. I'm gonna get it in the shot for you. Okay, now it's going straight down right here. Let me see if I can get that in the light. Going straight down, coming out that hole right there. Let me, there we go. Coming out this hole right there because it's got a space in it. What I mean by a space, it skips this lace and goes to the next hole so it slides through here. Okay. Make sure I got it straight. Go. And you should be seeing smooth side. Smooth side. There we go. That's what you're going to see in those catcher's mitts now. That lace and this lace right here sorry for the shaking there we go that lace right there right there last but not least give her a twist give her a good turn right there going in and out this hole right here just like that Get your laces out of the way. Good and snug. And there it is. So this is a different way on how to relace the middle of middle slash top of the web. You'll see them where it goes. These vertical lines here just gives it more strength instead of going here, back around, and back through there. I, and I agree. Whoever came up with that is a genius. So. Anyway, uh, if anybody has any questions uh, about this relacing video, please leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.